Hey folks, welcome back to The Portable Gamer and welcome to Dakar 18. This is a new sim for the channel and I wanted to check it out with you. I've played it a few times and let's just uh, hop right in. I'll tell you what I think. So hopefully the capture card is going to hold while we're going through this load screen. Sometimes if it doesn't see anything happening, it stops recording. But I think there's some things moving on the screen, so hopefully we'll be all right. There we go. Ready to race? There we go. So this is Pisco, stage one. The Dakar Rally, I don't know if you know anything about it. It is it is a rally, but it's a weird kind of rally. It's very different. And one of the categories is truck. So there we are. We're in MAN. Some people say MAN. Some people say MAN. And I do have to go third person. And I'll show you why after we get rolling. So here we go. Here we go. So our first marker is 0.7K. And it's just a warning. It looks like we've got a step down. And we do. All right, and now we're going to mile marker. I say mile marker, kilometer marker. Page note, two kilometers, we're gonna turn right onto 014. And we do. So there is a, a navigator. I had to turn him off. He is extremely, uh, he's like angry and kind of snarky and condescending. I had to turn him off, uh, couldn't take it. So now I'm just trying to read all this stuff. I'm in rookie mode right now, and you do get a heading bug. You can see that yellow dot up on our compass. You do get a heading bug in the rookie mode. That disappears when you go into the higher mode. So what is my overall impression of this game? I have to say, not great. Uh, for 50 bucks, I would call that a category one game, which to me is, that's something that's completely done. Okay, at these ruins here, we're going to get on 078, and we do. For 50 bucks in 2018, that to me is a full retail game, and I expect it to be fully done and, and ready to go. But like in that Spin Tires video that I just did, I was talking about how hard it must be to make a game. It's got to be hard. Still on. Yep. Okay, so we stay to the right. We stay to the right of the fence. Okay, we come around here. And then at the end of the fence, we're going to go left to 069. Okay. And we do. I was talking about how hard it must be to make a video game or a movie. But you know what? That's. Like, if my house is on fire and I call the fire department and they get there and uh, they're like, man, we're stumped. I, I, like, what do you want us to do? Well, I want you to put the fire out because that's your job, you know? So I have to say that if you're selling a game for full retail, my expectation is that you will know how to make a video game. Same way if I pay $14 for a movie ticket, I want the movie to be good. Now, it, it doesn't have to be... How do I want to say this? It needs to be good for what it is. So if I go see, I don't know, like a Fast and Furious, I don't expect it to be a serious movie. I don't expect the acting to be good. You know, I don't expect the plot to make sense. But I do expect there to be really good action sequences, specifically involving cars, if it's Fast and Furious. You know what I mean? I need it to be good for what it is. Now, if I go see, like, a drama of some kind, it's a whole different kind of movie. And I don't really expect any action sequences, but I expect the acting to be good and the script to be good. You know what I'm saying? The lighting, directing. So, if you're gonna make a video game, that's your job, and if you're gonna charge me full pop, then I really do expect you to make a good game. And this game, I feel like, is sort of lost because, honestly, it's got cartoon physics. You'll see when we get onto some of these dunes here, I'll show you the side view. And 
I feel like the scope of the terrain is exaggerated to make it maybe more dramatic, but it just looks silly. I think these dunes could be much smaller with much more accurate angles. Okay. Uh, vegetation, go to the left, and we're going to get on 240. Okay. 240. So it's sort of cartoony in that way. The, the driving model, the physics, the, the navigator, the way he yells and that ridiculous tone that he has, uh, it's like it's supposed to convey, I don't know, some kind of urgency. Here, check this out. That's just silly. That the angle does not need to be that exaggerated. I don't think. I, I know it doesn't. It's it makes to me it makes it cartoony. And the physics are more or less non existent. This feels like about the mid nineties as far as the handling and the physics. And if we get really sideways on one of these hills. I'll show you, like, the thing just slides sideways and backwards as though it has no physics at all. It's very, very odd. Which, now, this is going to sound weird, but I'll go ahead and say this. Maybe you'll get it. Yeah, here we go. What kind of physics is this? What is that? Huh. Okay. But, you know what? I would be okay with all of that if it was just a silly kind of Wreckfest style game. Because when you when you play Wreckfest, you're not really expecting a serious game. You're kind of expecting a cartoon or an action movie to continue the analogy from earlier. 500 hairpin right. So we're getting on 292. Get up there. And you can see the frame rate. This is running on Unreal 2, and I can barely hold 30 FPS on a mix of high and medium settings, which I think has less to do with the game than it does with my 1050 card. I know, you know the 1050 is not the, not the newest card, and even when it was new, it was not the strongest card. So that's, I'm not, that's not the game's fault as you know what I'm seeing as games get newer your gear gets older and games are eventually going to pass you by so it is a little it is a little stuttery not quite slideshow but it's a little stuttery so what I'm saying is it's a very serious game and it's really really hard but the execution of it is kind of cartoony and I have to say that makes me wonder what kind of game is this it's it's a serious game but I don't feel it's executed very well, or it's a silly game that's just way too hard. So it's sort of right in the middle. I don't know how I feel about it. So we're in fourth right now. This is your, they call it the bivouac. Here we go, so we'll complete this. And this takes you to your repair menu, among other things. So when you go in here, then the only option you have is to repair everything. That was a short stage, so We'll just repair everything, and there isn't a lot to repair. We'll hop into the next stage. And this is the other thing. I won't do the full stage. But the other thing that's weird about this is the stages are between, like, 45 minutes and about an hour and 10 minutes. And that, to me, is a little too long. You can pause out of it and come back right where you left off. But to me, that's still a little too long. I think they should have maybe trimmed that down. So we'll get rolling again here. And in particular, I have to say, you know, as far as specific things about the stages being too long, is they are a little, I have to say, repetitious maybe. I mean, I, I get that it's a, it's a rally game and it's meant to depict a rally with a lot of long, very challenging stages. They go like 500 kilometers a day, I think. 500 straight ahead main track. Okay. I, yeah, I think some stages they go like 500 kilometers. So that's a long day. And, you know, if we're meant to get a feeling for that, then the stages will be long and challenging. There are these little sand traps, too, that you got to kind of skirt around. I try to stay on the track. 
and that seems to help, but you can get bogged down in some of this deep sand. There is a low gear, but I feel like there's really no way to creep. I just want to be creeping. And get out of there. Get out of there. Come on. And we're out. Right, so I chose... Um, I chose trucks which I think are a little slower compared to cars and motorcycles and that sort of thing. So maybe the stages are taking longer for me. I don't know, but it is it is fun, I have to say. It is a fun game to play. I just don't understand really what it's about. You know, I feel like I'm missing something. And I'm going to keep playing it and try to make it make sense. But as it stands right now, it's a fun game, but I don't know that, it, that it's done I guess that could be me maybe I'm just seeing it wrong but I don't know now the other thing I, I mentioned earlier I was going to go third person and this is why when we go in cab this is our view now I I assume that this is meant to just be like the challenging part of driving a truck turn these wipers off right the trucks are harder to drive but it's, it's nigh impossible. Now, I'm guessing this is a little bit easier when you're in a car or on a motorcycle. But, oh, in the truck, the visibility is extremely challenging. All right, so we're going to 14.56, and then we're going to go off track on heading 136. Yeah, and this is more or less it. You'll just do this for an hour. And, you know... I don't know where I'm at with that. And I love simulation games and I like long play realistic games that are kind of slow, but this is something else, man. To the small dune valley cap 60, okay. So we go here and then we try to get on 60. Yeah. That's rough for an hour. Helicopter view, always nice. Uh, damage is is definitely a thing in this, and, and in fact, I'll I'll show you how easy it is to damage the truck, and how unexpectedly it can happen. And again, trucks. I mean, cars and motorcycles. I'm sure are completely different, but I've just been spending a lot of time in the truck. So when you get that sort of horizon view, like you know, there's nothing on the other side. And if you fly off one of those too fast, it'll just wreck you. Oh! Hey, buddy. Where'd you come from? So, it looks like we're going to go to 117. Okay. So, let me go off one of these real fast, and then we'll, we'll call it, because we've been going about 15 minutes, and not a whole lot going on. Two five dot five two. We're gonna get in this. Hey, buddy. We're gonna get in in here. No, we're going on the other side. Okay. So yeah, we're we're at about thirty five FPS right now, and that's with some of the settings turned down. I mean, I didn't quite potato it, but I think my car just can't render an Unreal Two game that fast. find a good thing to go off of. Probably this one. Oh. See? Now that I want to damage your truck, I can't. There we go. All those little hits are causing little damage, and we'll see if we can get a big one here. So yeah, it is fun. I've got I've got probably six or seven hours into it so far. It is fun. I just don't. I feel like I don't understand it. I feel like I'm doing something wrong because it's not. It just feels like it's not as much fun as it should be. 
folded to the dunes. Okay, so go 36.90. Stay straight. Okay. Eight dot six seven right, turn to one seven four. I have been slowing down for those turns because I feel like if you get like if you drift wide out, out now you're headed to the right place, but you're on the wrong track. If that makes sense. So it's not just heading to a point on the compass, you need to be headed to it on the right, from the right direction, I guess is a good way to say it. So I feel like if you take some of those turns too wide, you end up over from where you're supposed to be. You're pointed at the right thing, but you're on the, yeah. I think I'm making sense, I might not be. So all these hits that we're taking right now, those are damaging the truck, and I'm trying to do it I'm looking for a big one, but all those little ones add up, so you do need to sort of pedal it across some of the undulations. And we're going to 50.82. Okay. Yeah, you do need to be real careful with the truck, because these, I mean, you can see how long the stage is over on the left side of the screen, that progress bar. This will go on for an hour, so you do need to to baby the truck a little bit. Now you can, there we go, it's a big bloater. Um, I'm gonna go to 138, oh, we're at a checkpoint. Okay, yeah, there's these two. A little checkpointy, beautiful. I thought these were ruins for some reason I was not looking in the right direction. I was focused on the compass and not hitting rocks and totally missed that we were getting to a checkpoint. Right, so where do we go from here? Follow the track. Okay, so we're on 125 to 55.82 and then we'll turn to 188. And, I mean, you can see, like, I'm kind of shit-talking the game, but at the same time, I'm I'm not stopping. So, it is fun. I, I really want to stress that. Like, it's a, it's a fun thing to do. I just, I don't know. Maybe it'll click for me, and then it'll be even more fun. I don't know. I don't know. Uh-oh. What's up, gangsta? What's your problem? Right. There's a good one. Oh. So if you do that over and over, eventually the truck will break down. And since, you know what, I'll do it right now. Since I'm not going to finish this stage, check this out. You can do a couple things. You do have a repair menu. And there we go. You do have a repair menu. You can fix things. And I assume that that five minutes means time that we're stopped. The other thing you can do is you can straight up get out the truck. What? You can uh, take your lid off. Is that right? You got a shovel. Which I think you can get anywhere. Where's my shovel at? No, no, no. Don't stop waving, fool. Where's my shovel at? Oh yeah, there it is. It was in me pocket. So then you can uh, do some shoveling. No, no. There you go. Shovel, my man, shovel. Well, there's a way to do it. Anyway, uh, there's also a hook. You can tow other vehicles. I don't know why you'd want to do that. I guess it's very sportsmanlike. And maybe so somebody doesn't die. But I don't know if I'd be, if I'd be hooking people. Come on, we're leaving. Get in the whip, son. There we go. So yeah, it, it's uh, that's what I mean when I say it seems like a serious game, 
but then at the same time, it seems kind of cartoony. So I don't, I don't know who their audience is. I don't know if they know who their audience is. But so it goes, right? Um, let me see if I can get one big air and really damage the truck, and then we'll call it. Ah, even better. Here's one of these cartoon dunes. So you can see our waypoint is... Oh, big hit. You can see our waypoint is more or less straight ahead. And we got this dune in front of us. All right. So we'll go to low gear. And at some point, yeah, it'll just start sliding sideways. So it's like, it's not really physics. I don't know what it is. It's just, it just feels like a, like a 20 year old video games idea of, of racing. I don't know. I just want one big hit, man. Maybe up out of here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. So do that a couple times, and you will break things, and you'll need to stop and spend, I wouldn't say significant amounts of time, but the truck will break. Like, it will not run until you fix it, and you lose time when you do, so. You gotta baby it. Ah. There's also these... Little, I don't know what they are. It's not quicksand, it's like it's just deep sand, I guess. But it does, it's not just out in the flat desert, you will come across it in the. Oi. Oh dear. I believe I can fly. Oh. And this right here, that to me is not. The truck would be rolling, it wouldn't be sliding down a hill that steep. So, anyway. There you have it, folks. This is Dakar 18. It's available from the Steam Store. Check it out. Uh, you know, my opinion. Just my opinion. Could be the favorite game of, of yours that you've ever played. But for me, I'm, I'm going to need to keep playing it and figure out how I feel about it. There you go. Thanks for stopping back to check out the channel. We'll see you next time. Take care.